Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the median cubital vein. The median cubital vein connects the cephalic vein to the basilic vein over the cubital fossa just anterior to the elbow band. Okay, so the median cubital vein this is also subcutaneous vein like that of the cephalic vein and the basilic vein. It connects the cephalic vein to the basilic vein. Okay. It is in the subcutaneous tissue over the over the roof of the roof of the cubital fossa. Over the roof of the cubital fossa, we can say over the over the bicipital aponeurosis, over the bicipital aponeurosis, aponeurosis in the roof of the of the cubital fossa. Okay. It is variable, but usually the lower end is from just below the below the lateral side of the elbow band, around 2.5 centimeter below. It goes obliquely 2.5 centimeter above the medial epicondyle of the humerus to connect the basilic vein. Okay, we got that. It is separate. It it is it it is separated from the median nerve it is separated from the median nerve and brachial artery from the median nerve and brachial artery by bispital aponeurosis aponeurosis this vein is fixed it is not very much movable it is fixed by the perforating vein which connects the median cubital vein to the deep vein it is fixed more or less fixed by the perforating vein Okay, connecting the median cubital vein to the deep veins. Okay, we got the median cubital vein. We have another vein that is called the median vein of forearm. This is that. This very much variable median vein of forearm. That is going between cephalic vein, basilic vein, and it may communicate to the median cubital vein, or it may replace the median cubital vein. Okay, median vein of the forearm, median vein of the forearm that is present on the ventral aspect of the hand between the cephalic vein and basilic vein, forearm is variable 
all bhays are bhayable, but this is bhay must bhayable. Okay. It is, it opens into the, it opens into the median cubital vein. Or it may replace the median cubital vein, this vein, median vein of the forearm. Or it may replace the median cubital vein. If it is present, if it is prominent, it may be also used for vein puncture. So that's all about the median cubital vein and the median vein of the forearm. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.